your story? Our story. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we met online. Um, we were both previously married, and after getting divorced, we, we both had kids and were trying to figure out life and love and what was going to happen to us. And um, I can't speak for Garrett, but I spent most of my time with my kids and so I it wasn't that easy to meet people and so after a couple of bad dates bad traditional dates I decided to try online dating and um, actually I had a lot of crazy wild experiences and I was just about ready to give up on it when I came across Garrett's profile and I sent him a message and said hey check out my profile you got a book a couple years ago called The Introvert and Extrovert in Love really? yes <laughs> Oh. So my idea was that I would read it. We would take turns. We would each read a chapter out loud to each other. But he, then Garrett said I should just read it out loud and he would listen. The introvert needs just, I don't know. What do you, think you make it sound like a disease. No. Not at all. The but book, uh, the book talks about it. Anyway, so we went to this community event and um, – and it was one of those bingo games where you're supposed to go around the room and find someone who snores and someone who's been to Peru. And... Wait, not the European one? Not yeah. a... So someone came up to us and said, hey, someone who was clearly an extrovert, and said, hey, you guys. And Garrett said, I'm with her. We're just doing it together. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a different path that it takes in the brain of an introvert. It's a, it's a longer path, more thoughtfulness. That's Before you got here, she sat over there. Yvonne sat there, and I sat there, and I said, "How are you doing? Good." I was talking. Good. No, no, so we were done. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. We were okay with it too. <laughs> no, it wasn't that quiet. I felt uncomfortable even hearing about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But I, I mean, I do. I, well, do you want to say anything else about that? Mm -mm. <laughs> Everyone has to, everyone who's in a relationship, not just us. I think there's a, there's a demand for um, needing to be changed and be altered and being okay with that, as well as seeking to understand the other person in a deep level. If there isn't that, then you know, what what is in a relationship? I think a meaningful one. People have written, of course, books and books and books on relationships, healthy and otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Relationship Self help. help. Yeah. Self help. Yeah. Well, relationships fail not because the other person's a problem, but because you're part of the issue too. I mean, that's just the way it is. Everybody's part of the same system. I mean, transforming community is based on systems. Our relationships are based on systems. You know, I would like to blame everyone else in my life for my issues, but when it comes right down to it, if I'm busy helping myself. There isn't a relationship. It's me and it's you. It's not us. Okay. It's, uh, a marriage isn't 50 50. It's, it's 100 100. How long have you been married now? 30. Five years? Really? Not the, it'll not, be six years. We've been together six years, yeah. Oh no, it'll just be five years? It's our fifth year anniversary coming up, yeah. That's embarrassing on film. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Does that make you feel better? Like Time flies minutes? when you're having fun. <laughs> I don't know. Cliches always yeah. happen. Your kids are pretty cool together. Yeah. They have neat relationships. It's They're, fun. Yeah. It's been fun. Both, both right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And they, they definitely cross bloodlines. One thing I think mm -hmm. that was helpful is that Garrett's kids were younger than mine, so there wasn't the, well, we're all teenagers, and so um, my kids got to kind of be the big kids and his kids looked up to them and um so i think in a way that was helpful because yeah. they weren't competing for the same sorts of things right more exposure to a different wider variety cultures of cultures and, and lifestyles and different people and this is this is a good thing yeah. so yeah. yeah it was intentional yeah. there's other people around that don't like that tough shit <laughs> you can't keep everybody happy yeah. he's really good at that Tough shit. <laughs> <laughs>